Hello everyone, my name is Maxi and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install StreamerBot for your Twitch streams. So you can do stuff like this. So first things first, we are going to want to install OBS of course. If you have not got it uh, installed, then the best thing you can do is go to obsproject.com forward slash download and just download the latest version. Uh, bear in mind that 27.2 uh, takes effect of the uh, the newest API that Twitch have. So anything that's below 27.2 will not work with the current version or current version of API on Twitch. So just bear in note of that. Uh, so next, so what you're going to want to do now is you want to go to streamer dot bot and you want to click on the, the the download button right here. And then you can see it's just downloaded there for use. And then once you open the file, you'll see all these all these uh, files in here. So it's, the best thing to do is just copy them all. You can you can you can choose. Um, but I, I like to just I just like to drag and drop. So if you highlight them all, I can just take you into a folder. So let's say if I create a folder called tutorials, I'm just going to drop it in here just for the sake of the tutorial. So if I call this streamer dot bot, I'm going to drag and drop my files into here and there you have it we've got streamer bot there as well but yes if you have if you've got your obs installed uh you want to open that of course uh but before you do that before you do that actually sorry uh you want to have the obs websocket uh um plugin installed on your obs this allows other applications to talk to your OBS via this plugin. So the what you the first thing what you want to do is um you can it's got it's got a Mac uh, version, Windows version or it's got a Linux version as well. But I would recommend if you to download the installer version uh so that it just installs the files for you so you don't have to do any of the copy and drag process. So once you have done that, let's minimize this. Uh, let's run OBS. So if we run OBS, double click on here. So this is my OBS portable. Uh, so it doesn't interrupt the OBS I'm using to record this video. You can see we've got a blank version of OBS here, but you should notice that in the tool section, you should have the option where it says WebSocket server settings. If you have not got this, uh, this, uh, option available, then you have not installed WebSockets correctly on your OBS. So it's best to just kind of backtrack and see what happened there uh just run inst installer again and just and just see uh but it should work it should work anyway so if we click on this it should give us the option to say okay enable websocket server which you want ticked and the default port that it gives you is 4444 uh so um i always just leave it as it is you can enable authentication and then just put in your own password that you want uh i'm going to untick that and of course it tells you you know disabled is not recommended i don't care right leave me alone i know what i'm doing so <laughs> and then you want to click on okay and that is essentially your obs settings done for it to work with streamer bot now uh i have i do have my own streamer bot uh but i'm gonna have to open a new version here and uh, not a new version a new instance of it and if i double click on this it should start up soon right so you can now see that the application is open so streaming bot is now open and the first thing you want to do is click on settings and then click on twitch accounts and then you'll see you'll say uh, connect to twitch so click on that connect to twitch and it should show a window with all all of it you know what it needs access to just click on authorize because it you know it's not going to work otherwise and then once that's done you'll say you can close this window and return to your application to continue so now you can see, okay, it's got my broadcaster account. It's got my name on there. So you want to uh, tick on auto connect and auto reconnect as well. Um, and that is your Twitch connected. So, so the next thing you want to do is you want to click on uh, the OBS tab and you want to right click on ads. And here you've got the option to add your OBS connection. So you want to give it a name. So say let, let's give it uh, OBS underscore main. And the host is 
0.0.0.1, which is itself, it's a local host. If you do have OBS on another PC, such as a streaming PC, you're going to want to use the IP address that's assigned to your streaming PC. Uh, the next thing is the port number, which we had on our uh, WebSockets. So if you go into OBS and then go onto Tools and then WebSocket Server Settings, you'll see that server port is 4444. So let's go back into our uh, streamer bot and then confirm that. There's no password, so we can leave that blank and then we can tick auto connect and reconnect on disconnect. And then the retry interval, I like to give it about 10 seconds. So once you click on OK, it will say it's disconnected. So all you have to do is just right click on it and say connect. And there you go. It has connected. And you can see that it's saying on the on the right here that the current scene is seen, which is correct. We've got scene right there. So if I cancel that. And if I now let's see if I create a new scene called game and then uh, click on that, you'll see streamer bot will see it is now called the game scene. So that is your streamer bot all set up, ready to connect to OBS and you can create commands and channel. You can even create channel points, which I've got here. And there's also you've got the actions as well, which uh, we will discuss in the next episode of streamer bot tips number two anyway guys i hope you had fun and uh, i shall see you on the next one take care bye bye